Good morning to each and every one of you, and happy Mother's Day. Women, mothers, the incredible diversity among all of you and the different stories that each of you have. I have this video here to celebrate you and to hopefully express my love and gratitude to literally every woman on this earth, today and always, and especially to my own mother. <laughs> Let us begin with a prayer. Loving creator of all, we thank you for all the people who have mothered us throughout our lives. For all who have held us and fed us, cared for us and comforted us, challenged and encouraged us. We pray for new mothers experiencing changes that they could not predict. Please grant them rest and trust in you. We pray for girls and women who think about whether or not to become mothers. Grant them patience and discernment. We pray for all mothers who are raising children in poverty. Grant them courage and relief. We pray for all mothers who face the demands of single parenthood. Grant them strength, support, and wisdom. We pray for all mothers who are separated from their children. Grant them faith and hope. We pray for all adoptive and foster mothers. Grant them gratitude and insight. We pray for women who long to be mothers. Please grant them strength, hope, and opportunities to share their love. We pray for those who have suffered from abusive mothering. Grant them healing and strength. We pray for all stepmothers, godmothers, and men and women who take on the role of a mother in a child's life. Grant them joy and the appreciation of others. <clears throat> we pray for those people present who grieve the loss of a mother and for mothers who have lost children. Grant them comfort, healing, and the hope of the Divine One's resurrection. Amen. Again, all mothers and your vast differences are so celebrated here today and always. I, for anyone out there who is struggling to become a mother, I <clears throat> bring this up to hopefully bring hope and love to you today. Think of Elizabeth, Mary's cousin. She was up there in age and she was not meant to have children, even though she wanted them so badly. It's very clear about how she wanted children, her and her husband both. Something happened and Perhaps it was just a matter of her and her husband not trying anymore. They just maybe had given up, who knows. <clears throat> but Elizabeth gets pregnant and has a child. She finally got the chance to be a mother, which was what she wanted. And I just want that to bring hope and encouragement to all of you out there struggling to become a mother. Don't give up your hope. Okay. Now, for everyone here who has lost a mother, my heart goes out to you today and always. I can't even imagine that pain. I really can't. But I encourage us to look at what wonderful things mothers do in our lives and to, for the world. 
I bring up the passage of the Canaanite woman. This is a woman who was not Jewish. Therefore, she should not have necessarily been approaching Jesus in the courtyard as she did that day. This woman, in front of who knows how many people, went up to Jesus and literally begged him to help her daughter. This poor mother was desperate. She had a daughter who was ailing at home and we did not know what was wrong with her. She goes to Jesus for help and he essentially called her a dog. This was primarily because she was a Canaanite and in that period of time, the Canaanites and Israelites were obviously not best friends. However, what Jesus did was cruel and very imperfect, not divine in any way. Well, guess what this mother did? She didn't just step back and take that abuse and walk away from it. She stood up and called him on his you-know-what and said, Sir, you know, even the dogs deserve scraps, and I believe in you. I believe in who you say you are, even though I'm not Jewish. Now, I'm asking you for your help. <laughs> Talk about bravery. Talk about such a, an unconditional love for her child. And also, this particular mother is one that I give thanks to, and I hope will bring comfort to all of you who have lost your mothers. This woman is responsible for Jesus realizing that he wasn't just for the children of Israel, he was for all of humanity. He changes greatly after that incident with that woman. He took a moment and paused, and he practiced humility and said, oh my gosh, you're right. Because of this, you know, you are blessed. <laughs> and he changes after that. He, he begins his ministry and he's reaching out to other people and he becomes for all humanity, which I believe is what God wanted. <laughs> so this woman, this mother, is vastly celebrated today and always, and may her strength be blanketed upon all of you who have lost your mothers, and just feel that love from her, and from me, and from the world. For any mothers who have lost their children, it's something that doesn't even have a name. We have no name for a parent who has lost a child, and it's something most parents believe should never happen, and I agree. If you have lost a child on this wonderful Mother's Day, I want you to please take away the absolute love, courage, faith, and devotion of Mary, the mother of Jesus. At a very young age, she's approached by the angel who propositions her to become pregnant and do this thing for humankind. Mary did not ask her father. She did not ask Joseph. She did not ask an uncle. No man was asked for permission to do what she did. She did it on her own. Right there with that angel. And that shows us what incredible strength Mary had, even as a very young teenager. It's incredible. And throughout her life, that strength carries on. She loses her husband eventually. We don't know what happened to Joseph, but I believe he passed away before Jesus began his ministry, and therefore she was a widow. That has to be so painful, and it left her in a very weird situation to be the, the matriarch in a male-dominated society back then. So we see that, but also Mary is one of you who lost one of her children, and she lost her child right in front of her very eyes. She saw Jesus on the cross, she saw him bleeding, suffering, crying out to God, 
why have you forsaken me? And she saw him take his last breath. There are no words for that. And still Mary was able to keep her kindness and her courage. And I believe with all my heart that she kept her faith, regardless of all of that pain and suffering that she went through in her life. I hope that she brings comfort to each and every mother here who has lost a child. And just know that you're not alone. Mary was not alone through any of that and neither are you. <sighs> to all other mothers, I love and adore each and every one of you. You are wonderful and fabulous and so incredibly strong and courageous. And just remember this. Jesus, he had female disciples. That was unheard of back then. And who was the person that he chose to reveal himself first after he died? His resurrection was given to Mary of Magdalene. Mary Magdalene, pardon me. Now that, that speaks volumes. This is a woman who essentially was the church on earth as we know it for those brief moments when she saw Jesus resurrected and then told the other disciples. Think about how much strength and love and just wonder that is that a woman was given that gift. And it just shows me and the world how incredible all of you are. And also another mother for those of you who do believe in this creation story. And even if you don't, just hear me out. <laughs> Eve, were it not for Eve's curiosity and her own courage to go and bite from the fruit, we would not be humans as we know humanity to be today. When she did that, everything changed. It's like she, she was, woke. She was, she was woke. And we became humans after that. Had she not done that, and it took courage and free will. She was thrown under the bus by Adam, you know, and she, it's, it's incredible, this, this woman, what she did. And we give thanks to her today, if you would like to, uh, another mother, <laughs> who gave humanity what we are today, basically. <laughs> to have the feelings of shame and wonder and all of the other things that we as humans feel and are. <laughs> to my own mother, I love you beyond words, beyond recognition. Everything that is good in me is because of you. <laughs> Everything. Um, Every day I'm overwhelmed by this loyal love that you have for me. And it is a blessing from the creator above. So happy Mother's Day to you. And I hope and pray that you have nothing short of a wonderful day today. You are beautiful and treasured and so incredibly special. And to all of you out there, all mothers and just women in general, you are beyond special and wonderful and loved. May today bring peace and comfort and a sense of lightness, a burden off of our shoulders, if it can be today, please. I am with all of you who are grieving today and with all of you who are sharing joy I share joy with you. Spread love today and God bless us.